Hello there guys and girls, this is the Prussian Prince with another Total War Attila Tournament ma match. This is uh, Cup of Nations 2015, second group stage, group 5, match between Achilles of Agony playing as the Huns, as usual, and uh, Dark 18k of Sacred Bl Band, I was going to say Bland, wow, sorry about that, uh, playing as the Saxons, again, on planes as usual. Uh, let's see the build of the hunts. So, we have Step Chieftain with Brace Gold 3. Uh, all, all the way in the back, we have these six war warriors that we're now so accustomed to seeing from Achilles. Uh, followed up by three boss from warriors. This is a difference, not five as before. We have some archers as well, two step bows with two or war archers. And a difference in terms of the cavalry. So, this time we have melee cap and we have five step mounted tribes people instead of the instead of the actual uh, what were they called instead of the shock cavalry instead of the step lancers so an interesting mix up for Achilles now for Derek 18k who's the Saxons again let's see what he has so all the way in the back we see this Nordic warlord general a gold one with rally then let's look at his cavalry contingent so Ooh, this is very interesting, but not really effective, I think. He has six six Saxon mounted warband, gold one. Not quite sure why he didn't opt for the stronger uh, cavalry units. Rather, he went for this kind of mid-tier units, like uh, mid-tier cavalry, I guess. Maybe he thinks it's not necessary because he's up against the Huns, and you know what? He might be right about that, but I haven't really tested against Huns. Anyway, let's see. Again, this is a pre-Celtic patch DLC. Uh, or rather, should I say, pre-Celtic DLC patch. That's the correct order, I think. Anyway, let's look at his sword contingent. So, two Nordic warriors, bronze one on the left. Two Nordic warriors, bronze one on the right. So, these are his flanking forces. Whereas in the center, he has three elite Nordic warriors, bronze one. So, this is a very strong... Uh, contingent if in uh, shield wall of course but against the wars I mean they all do all right but still the, does the units uh, the the war warriors are gonna eat them for breakfast still anyway uh, let's let me check the stats of the wars yeah definitely gonna eat them apart <laughs> no question anyway let's look at the skirmishing contingent for the Saxons we see let's see six is it six Nordic bows? Yeah, so uh, should do fairly decently against the uh, Huns uh, with these Nordic bows. Just gonna be careful about the war archers because these guys have decent armor and uh, slightly more uh, health than uh, the step bows. But the step bows, if focused, will die rapidly. War archers, not so rapidly. And uh, I mean don't really need to even focus the war archers because these guys will die rapidly and they almost do as much damage as the wars anyway so let's hit play looks like this game is a fairly quick one interested in seeing how the huns deal with this uh, saxon army nordic bows of course very useful because they will deal with these step mounted tribes people they can deal with the wars or the step bows uh, as for the ore warriors, like they're not gonna do too much damage to ore warriors, though. That's the thing. But late game, they might be the difference, and they can even snipe the general of the hunt. So not a bad choice to bring the, Nor the Nordic bows at all. But we'll see if it proves to be a good one. I mean, rushing is also a thing you can do against the hunts, but you have to be really careful because if you rush, you gotta somehow deal with the ore warriors. That's your biggest problem. So if you kill that, you should have a relatively easy victory. Anyway, it looks like the cavalry uh, fight is going to start. I don't like this for the Saxons, though. Uh, but actually, the Huns pu pulling back, so not quite sure why the infantry isn't there to support. That's a very strange engagement by both players. But it uh, looks like the Huns should get their infantry in first. Actually, no. They're not going to get their infantry in first. So this uh, engagement... It has not gone well for uh, for the Huns, actually, so far. But we'll see, though. These guys pulling back, and they got out of there. 
Uh, thing is, the ores have not been touched. So I guess it kind of works for the hunts in that way. Because if the ores aren't charged, then uh, they will grind it out. So here they come. Uh, they're all the way in the back. Well, actually, some of them are already engaged, I think, like these guys. Against these Nordic warriors, but not engaging properly, I think. Something's wrong with how they're engaging. Still, though, as you can see, because of the bonus versus infantry, they are wrecking this Nordic warrior. And uh, still, the left flank... Uh, ooh, these wars doing so much damage to lead Nordic warriors. This is getting destroyed, this area of the Saxons. Again, more Bosphorn warriors here. Doing very well against the Saxon Mounted Warband, of course. Uh, the general, again, engaged by the Huns. This is weird, but he's gonna pull out. I'm gonna go in for the Saxon Mounted Warband. But it's not as risky to do this, though, uh, for uh, for the Huns, because Saxon Mounted Warband are not exactly Germanic horsemen on Nordic Corpus Lords, so... It's not as risky, as you can see here, and he still has barely lost anything in his step chieftain, so it actually works against these lesser cavalry units to engage your general earlier on, but you still have to be careful with it, of course. Ooh, the general is now dead, and uh, that's huge. Because without the general... Uh, well, where was it? I, I, oh, there it was. So it was killed by the war warriors. He shouldn't have engaged, because, yeah, there's no way he can win against war warriors with his general. So yeah, at this point, it looks just over. Uh, nice rear charge into these Bosphorn warriors, though, by the elite Nordic warriors. Not gonna make a difference. Flaming shot onto these Saxon Mount Warband. Watch them go down. It's insane. So let's watch the, f the final uh, unit here. I mean, this, is the la this has to be the last unit of the Saxons. Fighting against Bosphorn warriors and now routed off the field, which gives Achilles the victory. It's gonna see wars. Uh, not doing as well as I expected, but some of them did well enough of course like these guys here they were still alive at the end these guys though not doing as well only 32 kills hmm, interesting step chieftain getting locked down though in this game yeah that's the game so um hope you guys guys enjoyed if you want to see more don't forget to comment rate, and subscribe follow me on facebook twitter and google plus share the video and i shall see you next time